Now, now, what was your question about putting in the dynamic content gallery? So the question was, how how do I put the code in to put it in there? And in, when I had asked it in the forum the other day, you had asked about doing a mock-up. Mm -hmm. uh, I found myself caught with how to even determine what size things should be in the banner uh, or in the header. And so essentially, I just want my my title and tagline on the left side and then this on the right side. Um, but I don't even know how to determine what height and width uh, to use. For this. Well, I guess what I would do would be to start off with how big the stuff that th th these banners are then. What's contained inside these banners? Well, they're just pictures. They're they're pictures and um, that I've downloaded from you know Dreams Time and and um, another free picture website, image website, and I'm just going to have little captions in them that are going to be advertising my um, you know uh, what I'm offering, the services that I'm offering. And so there will just be a couple of lines in the bottom of, of them. But they're, they're not, it's not primarily the picture that I want to be shown. I don't want that to be um, all that people see. I want it to be a compliment. Well, so I guess the place to start, I still think that's the place to start then. I mean, you can see an example here of where I have Google Ad banner in the header. Right, and so the Google Ad banner is a specific height and width, okay. and so I had to construct the header so that it accepted, you know, it could do what I wanted to do on the left-hand side and still do what I wanted to do on the right. Okay. And so figuring that out was really dependent upon figuring out the right-hand side. So the trick here will be, I think, for you to, well, I'm going to go over to your site right now, hn.com. It's a C-O-H-N. You have an extra Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, no, nope, I must. I spelled it wrong again. No, no e, no e. It happens yeah. all the time. C O H O N. Take, right. Take, take the e out. Yeah. <laughs> the, her books look interesting, but it's not. There right. we go. Okay, so right now you've got this header right here. Okay. Right. So then we've got to go to the blog. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we go to the blog, and is that slash blog? Yes, yeah, slash blog. This is Dreamweaver. Okay. So you've got this banner. I mean, it's, essentially, you've got this space right here. And how much room do you want this image to take up? Well, I, I'd like it, I think, maybe above the, um, the side um, columns would be sufficient, maybe across the two, the two of them. And then I would want to have the second part of my name on the second line, or my title on the second line. Can you just do that? Would it just move down or move over if I was to insert the, um, the gallery on that right side? Ultimately, it would, yes. But you need to make sure that the CSS lets it. It might be the case that there's a CSS designation for that that says overflow hidden. And if there is, then you need to make overflow visible so that it would wrap. But if we, for example, just measure this, you know, if we, so, so right now, if you just. To try it out. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, I just wanted to try. Part of this, in my mind, part of it's measuring, right? So you've got about 410 pixels or so, 408 pixels and 103 pixels tall, right? So if you wanted your image to fill that entire space and then inside that image was this, you know, text, yes. then it could be that this gets taller. 
right? It could be that if sex therapy Madison, Wisconsin came there and then sex addiction therapy came below right. that, you know, I'm that saying. in fact you end up with more height. And so, you know, and so maybe it's uh, 150 pixels tall by 400 and uh, just 408 pixels wide or something like that. So then once you had, and so that's what you really need to, you need to start off with a decision about the size of this element. Can I see that in, in Firebug? In, if I was go, to go in Firefox, is that how you're doing that? I'm actually using a tool called Measure It, which is a add-on to Firefox. Okay. So if you, if you search for, uh, let's see, Firefox add-on. Add on and measure it. S U R um, oh, E I T. Okay. Measure it. Yeah, measure it right there. You know, you just download it and install it. Just did Firebug. Oh. And then once you've done that, okay. you can see down here at this little button that looks like a little ruler. Yes. If you click on that, it brings up this measuring thing that you can use to measure elements on your site. And this little square it's is... much better than holding the ruler to the screen as I was doing. <laughs> oh, yes. It's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely a lot better than that. So if you start off with, say, well, once you did this, then what you would do is, let's see, I'm looking at, Okay, so I've got one more question. Email opt-in in a video, and then Kim is asking, why can't that be a gallery of images? Yeah, you know, Kim's got a site that she's working on called Globe Trotter Grants. TrotterGrants.org. Must be GlobeTrotterGrant.org. Must not be Globe Trotter Grant. <laughs> um, uh, globe Trotter Grant. Well, in any case, she's got a site that she's working on. It has a, a slideshow and very similar to the slideshow here. Let's see, where's that? Bing Cherry. Uh -huh. Sort of this show. And this slideshow could certainly be placed in the header and you could use this slideshow instead of dynamic content gallery. It is certainly the case. You could do that instead. I don't have any directions on how to use a slideshow though. And I do have directions on how to use the dynamic content gallery. This is quite a bit simpler than dynamic content gallery. But at the moment you'd have to figure out how to do it yourself. Yeah, and I like your your directions were very helpful, and I was really looking forward to using every one of them <laughs> because it really helps, especially if I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Because I, well, I, I think your, um, um, the videos. Okay. Well, it's a workable solution. How to accomplish that? What you end so up the, the, needing the to do then? Oops. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sherry. Uh, the question is what what uh, what PHP code I would need to put in to uh, put it into the header then once I decide. And then also, can I have it linked to uh, pages in the external website, you know, the Dreamweaver website, rather than inside of WordPress? Oh, absolutely, because the dynamic content gallery lets you link to whatever you want to link to. So I just put the, the pages in. Um, when when I when I uh, go th go through this, yeah. So uh, let's see, east or sixteen dot b y o b tutorial dot com. Slash WP hyphen admin. Uh, 
And then B Y L B Rick. How will I am in? Okay, and when you uh, then the dinosaur is gallery. I must have scrolled past it. There we go, gallery. In image management, when you select this, oh, it's not image management. Pardon me. It must be gallery method. Okay. Images are pulled from specific posts, and then. Once you get those images, let's see. You know what? That's actually not the case. Side of the WordPress? Yeah, it's actually not the case that you can link outside of the internal site. However, what you can do is you can set up a 301 redirect from that page. So, for example, you know, I actually have this on, well, you could have it set to go to, you know, what did I pick? I picked category. I picked ID. So I want to set specific IDs to be linked to, 81, 75, and 70. I could just as easily take that post ID 81, and I could add a 301 redirect to it to direct off to a different page anywhere I wanted using the thesis 301 redirect system. And that would actually be very simple to make that work. In fact, that's probably a great idea because that way you can put your image and your text in this post or page, whatever, yeah, into a page, actually, I wouldn't use a post, but into a page, and then redirect that page to the other page and you'd be able to keep your gallery content separate from real pages, but you'd still be able to have it link off to the the off-site page that you want. So, okay. uh, you know, as you get closer to that, we can talk about it further. You know, tomorrow I'll, I will post a little piece of code for you on the forum in this conversation. Assuming that what you're using is an image that is, you know, 150 pixels tall and 400 pixels wide. So I'm going to assume that the dynamic content gallery is going to go there um, at that size. And then I'll post code for you so you can see what happens. Uh, you can see what code to, to put in. And because you taught me how to do it in an earlier lesson, I will. I know how to optimize the pictures to fit there. Sure, that's right. <laughs> so thank you. Okay. Well, you're welcome. And just look for it uh, sometime tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome, Sherry. Have a good evening. You too.